Hi everybody, welcome back to the Cathedral of the Most Blessed Sacrament, the Cathedral of the Arts. And we thought it might be an interesting uh, video for you to uh, maybe delve in a little bit more about what is a Paschal candle? What's that all about? We talk about Paschal mystery and, and entering into God's passion. And what we as uh, the Catholic Church are big, big, big into symbols, and I love that. Uh, what happens if you've ever been to the Easter Vigil, which is the evening before uh, the big celebration of our Lord's resurrection, what happens is we gather outside. Here at the Mother Church in Detroit, we gather on the plaza and we have a giant fire. A friend of mine did the fire uh, here two years ago, last year, and uh, the fire was so big that neighbors called uh, the uh, fire department because they thought the cathedral might be on fire. That's a good sign. We want that blazing fire because that symbolizes the light of God, the light of Christ. What happens then is the archbishop takes the paschal candle and it is blessed. And, uh, and what happens is he marks it with the, puts these five nails with have, which have incense in them, symbolizing the five wounds of Christ. What is unique about a paschal candle um, is that it always has the year of, uh, that you are in, we're in 2020, has Alpha and the Omega on there because Jesus is the first and the last, and it symbolizes the passion, the, the, the Pasch, the entry into the, the challenge that Christ went through uh, as he did this for us, our, um, our kerygma. And so, uh, and then we, the candle is lighted, and then the archbishop then leads the entire congregation around the cathedral and we enter in and the cathedral being dim and then everybody lights their own candle. We carry in that light of Christ. And every baptism uh, in, throughout the year then is utilizing the paschal candle and the baptismal candles are lighted from this. Hence why it is at the baptismal font. And then the waters are blessed and literally it is impregnating the water. The archbishop uh, places this candle into the water and it gives it new life because Christ is our life. And we thought it would be interesting. I painted this candle. I love to do art. Um, and I, in 1987, uh, when I was in the seminary, just because I love art, uh, they asked me if I would paint the Paschal candle. And it's kind of curious, the, the journey that I've had. And so however many years later in 2020, I've done um, that many candles plus more because parishes asked me if I would paint their candle. And so what I did is I've had different themes over the years and I've seen my artwork actually grow in my ability. And so this one, um, because I had a real dedication to the Blessed Mother, I pray about what art, um, what the art should go on there. And I very, felt very inspired about Our Lady. And here is our own Pieta and there's the angels on either side as, they, uh, as she holds our Lord, uh, but with the, you know, below the cross, with the crosses behind her after he's been taken off. And then I ran up to my attic and, uh, and grabbed some of these old ones just to show the symbolism. They've worse for the wear, but this one I thought I would bring down. This is from 1998. I uh, did this, and this is Jesus immersing himself, coming up from the, the waters of his own baptism. There's the Holy Spirit. There used to be a wax cross that was on here with all the nails, and they're all disappeared over the years. But Jesus, who was pierced, and from that baptism, and from our baptism of dying and rising, he did that on the cross, we come to life. This one, which is from... 2011, um, the tree of life, and what happens is we have the tree of life here, Jesus dying on the cross, but I thought it was important if you looked at the, the, where sin came into the world, and we have the devil wrapping around in the Garden of Eden, we have that coming up, and then the other tree continues with the crucifix, and that where is this tree, uh, the devil in, uh, gave, you know, entered sin into the world, and through this uh, tree that we were saved from our sin, which is kind of curious. And then just the, sometimes it varies. I, I had uh, one where I did a, a silhouette of the parish that I was in when I was first pastor, symbolized the people and then life coming from that. I didn't bring that down. We have just the, the passion of, of Jesus and there's the cross. All of the pieces are missing from this one, but this is from 2007. And you see how my, um, the art has, has uh, changed over the years. And then this one was the one that I did when I was first here at the cathedral which has the year 
Let me see here, 2016, I came in 2015, so I did it. And what this is, this is one of the windows here at the cathedral, the window of the crucifixion. And so instead of um, having some of the other, you can see the Gothic frame that is around, which is actually out of stone. I did an elevated uh, wax covering. Uh, some of the nails are missing already. But then I have the elf and the omega, and I changed some of those uh, various aspects of that. And so each one of these is very unique um, for each of the parishes that we have done. So I invite you to kind of check out your Paschal candle at your parish and kind of delve into the beautiful uh, sacramentals and the beautiful symbols that our church really has. So God bless you. Come visit us at the Cathedral of the Most Blessed Sacrament, the Cathedral of the Arts, your second parish, as Archbishop Vigneron likes to call it, and uh, enjoy all the wonders of the symbolism and beauty that this place holds. God bless.